Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Ensuring the Built Environment. Today we're answering the question, what is Section 179D in the Internal Revenue Code? Well, Section 179D in the Internal Revenue Code is also known as the Green Building Tax Deduction or the Energy Efficient Building Tax Deduction. And what this tax deduction does is it encourages commercial building owners to make improvements to their buildings and their systems above a certain energy efficiency baseline. And the way that it does this is by providing building owners with a tax deduction incentive to make their buildings more efficient. And uh, the Energy Policy Act of 2005 actually was the, uh, the legislation that made the Section 179D uh, effective way back in 2005, and then it was made permanent in law in 2020. And then the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 made this even more uh, attractive for commercial building owners by expanding the credit with some bonus credits for people to achieve a greater deduction than they could have in the past. So um, basically what this de uh, energy what this Section 179D does is it allows uh, building owners to get a tax deduction of 50 cents per square foot for a 25% improvement in efficiency over the baseline of ASHRAE 90.1. And then you can, this is what's called the base deduction. So the base deduction is 25% to 50% greater and you can achieve from 50 cents per square foot up to a dollar per square foot, depending on the level of efficiency that you get within that base deduction. And then uh, the Inflation Reduction Act actually introduced some bonus credits that you can, excuse me, bonus deductions. It's a tax deduction, not a tax credit. Uh, there's some bonus deduction levels that you can achieve by uh, accommodating and complying with certain wage, prevailing wage and apprenticeship requirements in the Inflation Reduction Act. So that might have to do with union, union labor or training uh, individuals to get jobs in the energy efficiency space. Um, you know, talk to your CPA or, or check, refer to the IRS website about the guidance there, but basically by meeting those wage, prevailing wage and apprenticeship requirements, you can get up to $5 uh, of a tax deduction uh, per square foot in your building. So let's give, let's look at some examples. Say you have a building that's 100,000 square feet and you get the base deduction of 25% uh, uh, improvement in efficiency for 50 cents per square foot you could get a um, $50,000 tax deduction uh, for doing that. But if you uh, meet all of the bonus credits uh, and get the full $5, that means you get a $500,000 deduction for making your building more uh, energy efficient according to ASHRAE 90.1. Now, um, there are also some incentives for uh, architects and engineers who are doing work on nonprofit uh, or uh, non-tax paying buildings. So um, a lot of large buildings in the US that are, en that are not efficient, that need to be improved, are owned by tax exempt entities or entities, you know, municipalities that don't pay taxes. And then, but the IRS wants to encourage those buildings to be uh, improved and so they extend the uh, tax deduction to the designers or architects who work on the uh, energy efficiency plans for those buildings. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. I mean the uh, the section 179d of the Internal Revenue Code encourages building owners to make improvements in the energy efficiency levels above ASHRAE 90.1 to buy certain percentages, and if they meet those percentages, they get a base credit, excuse me, a base deduction. And if they meet the bonus um, requirements, they can get a bonus deduction. And uh, yeah, so it's really interesting. It's great for uh, building owners to give them an incentive to make these improvements. 
and uh, it just I think it helps overall as it goes straight to your bottom line in terms of helping you increase your net operating income on your buildings. So uh, that's it. I know we didn't talk much about insurance here, but it's uh, you know I, I do work with a lot of commercial building portfolio owners uh, who I talk to about this stuff, and it, I think they find it helpful because not all of them know know this stuff. So anyway. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you have questions about your insurance or anything related to green buildings, feel free to schedule an appointment with me at the link below this video, or you can just go to robfreeman.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.